Is Ethereum going to $15,000 in 2018? Watch this video to find out. <laughs> Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we're talking about Ethereum. Don't worry guys, I haven't claimed Ethereum is going to $15,000. People a lot more relevant than me are claiming Ethereum could be going to $15,000. In this video, we're going to look at Ethereum and look at some of the key articles that's come out and make price prediction for Ethereum. So watch this video till the end to find out. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please scroll down and subscribe to my channel. I do videos on cryptocurrency, price prediction, technical analysis, key updates, key news, just everything about cryptocurrency to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money so if you haven't subscribed already please scroll down and subscribe to my channel i also do half a litecoin a giveaway so if you want to win that subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and click and leave your litecoin addresses below Without further ado, let's get into the video. So Ethereum, like other cryptocurrencies, have been doing quite well. Ethereum has performed probably better than some of the other coins. And um, one thing that I'd like to say is that Ethereum, uh, I haven't done a video on Ethereum before, so I'd give a quick intro about Ethereum. It's strange because I've done uh, videos on most coins and some of the key coins that I like, like VeChain. Um, I'll be doing a video on um, Icon because Icon is a coin that I really like. Binance coin, I've done uh, like, I've done loads of videos on Litecoin. So I've done most videos on coins that I like, but Ethereum is the coin that I'm invested in a lot. I haven't done a single video on it yet. So in this video, I'll give you guys a quick update of what Ethereum is if you don't know what it is already um, I'll do a quick update on what ethereum is before looking at price prediction so what is ethereum ethereum makes the process of creating blockchain applications much easier and efficient than ever before instead of having to build the entire original blockchain for for each new application ethereum enables development of potentially thousand different applications all on one platform so Ethereum has been a game changer, really. It's had a massive impact on this crypto revolution. Um, it's decentralized. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what decentral uh, the benef benefits of crypto cryptocurrency and blockchain immutability, corruption, and tamper is is quite safe. Um, blockchain technology is like the internet in in that it has built in robustness by storing blocks of information that are identical across its network and block, uh, uh, the blockchain. And one thing that I'd like to say, the easier way to explain is what Bitcoin does with payments, um, Ethereum does with applications. So it allows you to do what Bitcoin does with payments, but with applications and whatever you want to do. So so that anything that can be programmed really it's not just application uh, this is a really good beginners guide i'll take you through it so it talks about ethereum is a next-gen platform that allows anyone both developers and consumers to easily take advantage of decentralized networks and release the benefits of blockchain technology i wouldn't say it's next gen because there are loads of new coins like icx icon um Neo Cardano that that could be massive competitors to Ethereum. And I'll, I'll subscribe to my channel because I will be doing a really good video on ICX and why I'm really bullish on ICX. So those those could be competitors to Ethereum, but Ethereum is the king um, currently of platform uh, coins. So I'm still bullish on Ethereum. So decentralized network, uh, decentralized networks redistribute functions and powers away from central server enabling peer-to-peer -peer communication. Uh, blockchain, most networks function use, using central authority to make final decisions. The blockchain a type of decentralized network is able to make agreements across the whole network without any central authority. That is the decentralization that we so, like so much. It's similar to BitTor a BitTorrent, if, if you know what that is. Bitcoin uses blockchain technology to record and verify transactions without needing a central bank. So what Bitcoin, this is what I was trying to say, what Bitcoin does for payments, Ethereum does for anything that can be programmed. So um, Ether is the native token of Ethereum. It serves two purposes. First, by requiring applications to pay Ether for every operation they perform. Broken and malicious programs are kept from running out of control. Second, Ether is given as a reward to those who contribute their resources to decentralized networks. So Ether is the fuel that runs the Ethereum network. That's a token. Uh, decentralized existing services so there's an example here ethereum ibm and samsung worked on proof of concept where a washing machine could order its own detergent when it runs out so you can see the benefit of blockchain some of the coins that has been built on blockchain there's many if you go on erc20 token you'll see 
thousands of coins. Most most ICOs are done on Ethereum, so Ethereum plays a massive impact. But what is the possibility? What is the future for Ethereum? It's difficult to say because it's such an early stage of the tech, the development of technology. No one knows where it will be like we didn't know that the social media and cloud compete computing were possible in 1980s 1990s when internet was so popular so price prediction um the reddit's co-founder says ethereum will reach 15,000 this year this is a crazy prediction when i heard it i was like wow that is crazy i, I wouldn't even make that prediction i don't think some you some crazy youtubers i don't make that many crazy predictions but you know some youtubers claim ripple going to 100 dollars and, and crazy predictions they wouldn't even make this this type of crazy prediction but someone like it uh, respectable in the tech industry like the co-founder of ethereum alexis ohanian I, I don't know if i pronounced it right He's claiming that he works in a, a capital firm, I believe. I, don't, I, I did look it up, the company that he works for, Initial, initialized capital. Um, so he's a respectable person and he's claiming Ethereum could be going to $15,000, but Bitcoin on, only to $20,000. So I'm a bit surprised because if, if Ethereum's at $15,000, I'd say Bitcoin will be over fifty, sixty thousand, 60000 nearer to $100,000. So it's a bit, so I'm a bit surprised why he's claimed it. So this year is all about blockchain. Most of it is just hype and bs just like how it was with artificial intelligence and machine learning most of the real vital protocol level basic infrastructure around software and blockchain will need to get built in the year or two for us to really see web 3.0 we're really hoping for these are the type of things i will uh, i will I, I think will build the foundation for very different much better internet so it's a crazy price prediction is made but we'll see we'll see how, how it plays along but i'm not as confident as him that ethereum will get to fifteen thousand dollars then there are rumors coming out saying he actually claimed ethereum will get to fifteen hundred dollars and not fifteen thousand dollars which is a bit more realistic i would say maybe fifteen hundred to two thousand in 2018 is realistic for ethereum i'm very bullish on ethereum and ethereum is, is brilliant it's what is done for cryptocurrency um, we need to give a massive thank you to Vitalik Buterin he's done wonders for bit of cryptocurrency with, with Ethereum I still hold a little bit of Bitcoin I think it, it, it has such a mind share that it will continue to be a store of value I'm most bullish about Ethereum simply because people are actually building on it the end of the year Bitcoin will be 20,000 Ethereum will be 15,000 great now people can call me if I'm wrong um, then he kind of tried to fix himself saying that he actually said it's 1500 and not 15,000 but is, is this news has been covered by CNN Investopedia so it's a it's not just a news on kind of cryptocurrency newsletter it's a, it's a news on a unreputable normal internet so in, Investopedia and CNN are big networks and they're covering it so it's actually a big prediction so Reddit co-founder Alexis uh, Ohanian expounded on the potential predicted price prediction target for 15, 1500 for Ethereum, 20000 for Bitcoin. So why is Ethereum important? Ethereum because this platform is popular with developers. So things are actually being built on Ethereum. CryptoKitties wasn't actually that successful actually slowing down the speed of transaction on ethereum by hogging bandwidth so that wasn't successful but it, scaling is something that ethereum needs to do uh, to be successful so that's one of the challenges that ethereum will face and the competitor to keep the competitors away there are some really good competitors like neo is a neo and I, icon like i've said um two two platform i'm, I'm really bullish on and um, they they are big competitors for ethereum and ethereum needs to sort out their their scaling issues to be relevant so th that was just some crazy predictions but these are some more informative they, they go into a bit more detail and then why they're predicting it um it would be 2017 all over again the only difference in this year uh, and 2017 is that there is more awareness about crypto at the moment um, as such, South, uh, South Korea makes the move and legalizes ICOs. Ethereum could explode in value. That if uh, if ICOs are being legalized, guys, this would be massive. Because South Korea is a big country for cryptocurrency. I think a big percentage of all the trading is is in South Africa. Uh, sorry, South Korea. So it is very very big if it happens. Once this goes live, it will make Ethereum one of the most scalable. So this is something um, if, uh, Vitalik Buterin is working on, uh, Casper, proof of stake, because um, it's the scalable issue that I mentioned, this could solve it. They are working on a few different things to, to make it work. If Ethereum can sort out its scalability, this could be massive. So how, how, how high can Ethereum go? Well, I have uh, come across projections that 
puts its potential to 15,000, but that's a little way off unless rest of the market heads in that multi-trillion dollar valuation. Realistically, Ethereum could close around two to three thousand, so similar to what I'm predicting for Ethereum as well. Ethereum price news is just a bit latest news of what's going on. Why has it gone up massively? Yeah, I think the whole cryptocurrency market is going up, so it's not just Ethereum. So like the market, Bitcoin is still king. Bitcoin goes up, other coins goes up. Um, one thing I like to say is the, the the why I like Ethereum is a longer term project as well. The co-founder of Google recently gave Ethereum mining credit for playing a role in the boom in computing. We are truly in technology rena renaissance and exciting where we can see applications across nearly every segment of modern modern society. There are several factors at play in this boom of computing. First, of course, is the steady hum of Moore's law. The second factor is greater demand steaming from advanced graphics in gaming and support. Surprisingly, from GPU friendly proof of work algorithms found in some of today's leading cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum. So he's thanking Ethereum for the role they're playing in the technological development. This is the importance of Ethereum because you have to take it seriously. Bitcoin and other coins, you know, they're more about speculation, making money. Ethereum is actually doing something to change the world. So Ethereum is, I'd, I'd advise you guys to have a look at Ethereum. If you don't, the, I'll just give you a quick brief on what Ethereum is. If you look into their um, technology behind it in detail, read their white paper, you'll really like Ethereum. So talked about uh, up, uh, uploaded proof of concept of sharding technology to, uh, to Ethereum GitHub software repository this week in which he proclaimed sharding is coming. This is something new. The Chinese way of splitting up verification work on blockchain to make it more efficient, thereby increasing the process speed of transaction. So GitHub, guys, if you want to see, if you want to buy a cryptocurrency, look, go look up the GitHub software repository before you buy it. You can see what, what, what's being worked on from a technological point of view. So sharding is another thing that looking at to solve their scaling issues so alex ohonian um he claimed from venture capital claimed 20,000 for bitcoin ethereum claimed 15,000 i don't know whether you want to believe it's 15 1500 or 15,000 but these are the numbers being thrown around it doesn't really matter guys long term i'm very bullish on ethereum but do your own research before investing in ethereum but this i'm not going to go into too much detail about this but this is a negative for ethereum is Ethereum a security? Because if Ethereum is a security, guys, there could be consequences. So that is one thing I just wanted to share with you guys. I maybe I'll do it because this doing a video on whether Ethereum is a security or not will will, will take it will take me hours to do. Uh, maybe I'll do it in a in, in a future video. But if Ethereum is a security, guys, that could mean uh, a lot of um, negative stuff that could happen to to ethereum the howie test uh, is a test that they do to consider whether it's a security or not if it turns out to be a security there's going to be more rules that will apply uh, with sec and uh, cftc security token classification that could have a lot of consequences it could i think the price will go down because there's going to be more regulations uh, there could be fines uh, there's going to be less icos there could be massive penalties people could go to jail it's kind of scary really i'm not scaremongering guys i'm not showing fud it's just one of the things that will have a massive effect if you ask me what 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 it, whether it's a security i don't think it's a security and if that's confirmed that it's not a security ethereum will get another massive pump so it's up to you guys what you guys think but if, if well, once it's confirmed that Ethereum is not a security, the price will have a big bump. But it could be a security. There's questions whether it's a security or a commodity. This will have a massive impact on the price of uh, Ethereum. Not a lot of people are talking about it, but I think it will have a massive impact. But um, Vitalik Buterin have said that we spent tremendous amount of time with, I think this is, am I reading the right quote, with lawyers in USA and in other countries and are extremely comfortable that it is not a security it was never a security many regulators that matter understand what ethereum is so co-founder of address that like i've said the harry test is a test that you use to see whether it's a security or not maybe i'll do a, a future video on this in a bit more detail but th this could be a negative thing it could be a positive thing as well but i mean in the long run it shouldn't have an effect but on the in the short term this this could have a massive impact on the price so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a quick update on what ethereum is and, and the price prediction i think if if i mean I, I hate giving price predictions but if i if i had to put my head on the line i'd say maybe to about around 
two to three thousand, depending on how Bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market reacts and things going their way. Ethereum could go up two or three times by end of this year. So that's my prediction, guys. What is your prediction? What do you think Ethereum will be at the end of this year? Do you like Ethereum? Do you not like Ethereum? Please leave your the value uh, below. What's your price prediction on Ethereum? It's a 1000 thousand, two thousand, five hundred, whatever it is. Leave it below and leave a comment like, why do you think that? And if you have any questions, put it below, guys. I read all the questions and, and comments and reply back. And if you want to win half a Litecoin, leave your Litecoin address below with next to your price prediction. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have enjoyed it, guys, please smash that like button. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, just word of mouth. Share it with your friends. The more people we talk to about Bitcoin and Ethereum and cryptocurrencies, the more it can, the price can go up, the more it can help uh, raise awareness for Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrencies. It's not just about price predictions. It's about the technology and adoption as well. So share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel to get the latest cryptocurrency news price predictions and you could potentially make some money as well. I've given um, uh, signals to buy ontology. It's down now 10% but if you go in and look at ontology, when I send out what this trading signal on, on YouTube and, and on Twitter, um, it has gone up massively. I think I gave the signal out around there. So it has gone up massively since I've gone. Yeah, I gave some trading signals as well. But again, this, this is not investment advice. It's just me sharing my thoughts, my experience. I've traded stocks and forex before. I'm just sharing my thoughts, my, my advice. Use this advice, learn from it, and then do your own research before making your own decision. Do not listen to a random YouTuber online. Do your own research. Learn from it. Learn from this video. Think about my thoughts. Have a discussion with me on my comments below and make your own decisions to make money in cryptocurrency. This is a great opportunity for every one of us. So thank you for watching this video guys. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video.